this video is to accompany um, lesson one and show you how um, this is going to work. So you want to go to google.me.steer.org to get to your drive. And then you want to click on create or new. Some, it depends on which version of Google Apps you have. And then uh, select folder. And then you want to name it Excel Lessons. And then you want to share that folder. So you double click on the folder. And then you click on this up here. And then you type in my email address that you share things, which with is maapgov at gmail.com. Then that should pop up right there. <clears throat> click send. All right. So within this folder, the reason you create things in the folder is because it takes on the properties of the folder. So you don't have to worry about sharing anything else with me because it's automatically shared when you put it in that folder. All right. So you want to make sure you're in the folder, which you should be. And then you want to click new and you want to go to sheets. You want to rename this lesson one. Remember, you can always um, pause and rewind this video at any point in time. You can also, you don't have to watch the video. You can just follow along the directions. It's totally up to you. All right. So the next direction says that you want to rename the first worksheet to Monday. So you click on here and you click rename and it's Monday. And then the next direction says three more worksheets. So one, two, three. You want to name these Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we have Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday. All right, so next on Mondays, now remember these going across horizontally are rows. The ones that are up and down vertically are columns. So you want to put last name, first name, middle initial, street number, street name, phone number, and then date. Now, you'll notice all of these are um, sized right. They're not too small, so you can't see half of it like that. But the way that you would resize it if you need to is you double click on when you have it highlighted or you can just slide it over. It doesn't really matter. All right, so the next one is you want to bold these headings. So you want to highlight those. Click on the B for bold. And then you want to color the first row so the head so they're orange. So they're still highlighted. So you want to go to the fill and choose orange. And then you want to choose purple for the font color. And then you have to put information in for the first five rows. So that would be rows two through six. So I'll give you an example. So we have Williams, we have Adam Williams, middle initial of R. Street number one, two, three, four. Street name, Main Street. Phone number, five, 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 one, two, three, four. And then the date. So today is 10, or excuse me, 9, 11, 15. Okay. And then it says you want to change two of the font cells. Now remember, you have to do rows two through six. I'm just giving you an example of how to do this. You want to change two of the font cells. And if so, you highlight them, go up here to the font, change it to something else. Courier new is fine, whatever it is you want. Then you want to write justify two of the cells, because if you'll notice, these are over on the left. This one is already write justified because it's numbers. So you click on them. This is the justify up here, and you want to write justify them. And then you want to center justify two of them. So highlight and center justify, and that's it. And it's up worth up to 32 points. Remember, these two through six have to be filled in when you have this shared with me. All right. Hope this was helpful.